We started Port Ormos. That's exciting. I don't even- I have no idea what to expect, honestly. I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, it's time. Huh? Wait. You're that blonde traveler who's on a journey to all corners of Tevat, right? Who's asking? Do you need something from us? You bet I do. <sighs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to find you. I have a letter for you, you see. It's from another Outlander. An Outlander? He was a crafty fellow, let me tell you. Took advantage of a loophole in our mailing system by opting for guaranteed delivery, then filling in the most obscure mailing address I've ever seen. <laughs> well, we are always on the road, so yeah, it's pretty tough to get mail to us unless we happen to go to the post office on a whim. So, um, what address did that person give you anyway? Uh, he just wrote... <clears throat> Next to a small, white-haired, talking fairy. What? So the address is Paimon? The address is Paimon. What? <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? And if I failed to deliver the letter, I'd have been bound by regulation to compensate him. Not this. Really, he got me good. I count myself very lucky that I ran into you here. Great. Well, let me see this letter. Let me see. Since when does... Since when does Lumine say Lemmy? Great. Well, let me see this letter. Let me see this letter. I'm really curious who could have sent it. What? <laughs> I feel like that seems very out of character for Lumine to be like, Lemmy. <laughs> let me see this letter. <laughs> of course. Here it is. All yours. Come on. Hyma wants to have a look too. It's been a while. How have you been? I've heard that the two of you are traveling in Sumeru, and I hoped I happen to be in Port Ormos on official business. Lately, I've been stopping by Jafar Tavern for a drink or two every afternoon. If flux on my side and this letter successfully reaches you, come to me then and we can catch up on old times. We'll see it as a fated encounter. Your trusty buddy, Kaya! Kaya sent us this letter addressed to Paimon. Okay, here we go. Kaya, huh? So he's here in Sumeru. Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Crafty does describe him pretty well. This is definitely Kaya's For style. When he wrote in the letter, it looks like he didn't think there was much chance of it reaching us. Hmm. Or maybe he's just being sneaky. <sighs> Do you think he's making this sound like a miracle of fate so that we'd have to go meet up with him? Very schemy indeed. Well, no harm done. It'll be nice to catch up with him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's always nice to see old friends. The letter says that he hangs out at Jafar Tavern every afternoon. Perhaps we should drop in on him then, huh? Yes, let's go see Kaya. Let's go. Here we go. It's time to find Kaya. Wait until the afternoon, 16 to 18. Okay. 16 to 18. Oh man, next day. 16. Oh, oh I cut her off. I'm sorry, Paimon. I'll just have to reject them all. I'm sorry, Paimon. Am I sorry though? I don't know. I'll have something I haven't tried yet, boss. <gasps> oh my god, Kaya's in Sumeru. This is crazy. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm afraid you've already tried every type of liquor we serve. Kaya? Drunk? Hello? Oh, well then. Just the bill, please. It's just as well, I suppose. I do have other matters to attend to. Kaya, you're really here! Paimon half thought you were playing some sort of prank on us. Hey, Paimon. Traveler. Looks like the gods smile upon me after all. And come now. I wouldn't joke about wanting to see my good friends. <laughs> <laughs> if you say so, we've missed you too. Wait a second. You must be here on official business, right? What do you think you're doing spending every afternoon drinking at the tavern? You itching for a lecture from Gene? <laughs> Not the Gene lecture. <laughs> Not at all. The acting Grand Master positively terrifies me. Why would I ever do anything that might displease her? Uh-huh. Very believable. You? Terrified? I don't buy it. The truth is, I'm in Sumeru to learn about the alcohol industry here. So despite how it might look, I'm actually at Jafar Tavern for strictly business purposes. Sumeru spices are famous the world over, and it's long been rumored that this fine establishment was 
where a certain very popular spiced cocktail was invented. Spiced cocktail? That's why the knights sent me, their foremost expert in alcoholic beverages, to come and see if it is as good as the rumors say. Interesting. And how did that go? So far, so good. I'm already in talks with some spice merchants in Port Ormos about some potential More collaborations. Hooray! Yeah, that does sound like a great business opportunity. Guess Don Winery and Master D. Luke are gonna make a tidy sum from this one too. Huh? <laughs> not this. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Whether this lucrative opportunity gets passed along to Don Winery or not depends on how nice I'm feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing you've been to Sumeru before. Oh? What makes you say that? You came to Sumeru all on your own, so you must be quite familiar with the place. Very sharp of you. I wouldn't say I'm familiar, though. I just came here on the sly once, when I was very young. When I was very hmm. young. Hmm. And? Do continue. <laughs> do I have to? <laughs> when I said we could talk about the old times, digging up my past wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Don't worry about it. Well, all right, since you're so interested. Like I said, I was very young then. I was Don very young then. Just taken me in. What? I overheard my adopted Why is he father talking like talk that? about sending a team of merchants to Sumeru during a business meeting. I'm sure you'll agree that everyone's curious about their roots on some level. And my roots? They're in Conria, which is said to have been located deep underground somewhere near Sumeru. Sir? And so I stowed myself away amidst the cargo and silently joined the merchant delegation on their trip to Sumeru. Oh my gosh. It wasn't long before this the merchant delegation received news that I'd gone missing. Their leader promptly found me, and before I knew it, my adoptive father was dragging me back home by the ear. <laughs> oh, not this. It was a short-lived adventure. Sorry, I don't have a more thrilling story for you. <laughs> He's talking so different in this scene. It's quite bizarre. <laughs> Sus, right, Johnny? Speaking of Conria, how much do you know about it? Honestly, not much. Liar. The only reason I knew that Conria was near Sumeru is because I happened to read that in a book when I was young. <gasps> ah, I was not expecting this. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful specimen. Look at this beautiful specimen. Just chilling in the back. <gasps> ah! My life had less and less to do with Conria as I grew up. And so I started caring less as well. I used to believe that I had inherited some sort of duty from my father. But then I began to wonder. Maybe my father left me in the peaceful land of Mondstadt for no other reason than simply to give me a happier life. Ooh. A sure. Happy life sounds <laughs> good to me, of course. Even if it means being cut off from certain things. This is obviously all speculation. Simply put, <laughs> I'm afraid that I'm not particularly in the mood of this topic. <laughs> These days, my surname, Albrich, is probably the only link to Conria that I have left. One death afternoon, please, boss. Sir? just casually sits down at the table talk about a dramatic entrance he really said give me the spotlight give me the spotlight right now <laughs> what in the world the way he just friggin sat down without saying a word oh my god one death afternoon please boss i love it tell me what do you know about the significance of that name albury oh my gosh his eyes his eyes Ah, you've decided to join us. I was wondering how long you planned on listening in. I believe I've seen you before in Mondstadt. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken. Dainsliff, if I'm not mistaken. Stop acting so proper, Kaya. We know your true colors. So you remember me. Then we are already acquainted, Kaya Albury, descendant of the Abyss Order's founder. Huh? Excuse me? The Abyss Order's founder. What? I take it that you weren't aware of this until now, Kaya. 
or you wouldn't have been so forthcoming with your surname. <laughs> Uno reverse. He said, I take it this is the first time you're hearing of this. Otherwise, you wouldn't have shared your surname so easily. <laughs> Why Danes live always just it never fails. He just he started off strong and he's keeping it going. Oh my. That's quite a lot of baggage for a surname, isn't it? <clears throat> Though I must say, it does confirm an old suspicion of mine. I suppose that was why my father left me in Mondstadt after all. I'm surprised that you take me at my word without the faintest hint of skepticism. I know, he was like, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> no, no hint of skepticism. Yeah, I guess you're probably right. That makes sense. <laughs> well, perhaps what you told me just happens to answer some questions I carry in my memories. And in any case, I recognize your eyes. You're a pure blood Conrian, aren't you? Oh my gosh. Very clever. Forgive me for being direct, but I sincerely hope this new knowledge doesn't change anything. If you've already let go of your ties to the past, then keep it that way. <laughs> Kaya, you're not involved with the Abyss Order in any way, are you? Hey, hold on now. This conversation has taken a rather sudden turn for the deadly serious. And I'm afraid that as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. <laughs> as someone from Mondstadt, I'm not accustomed to this sort of atmosphere. So what if I know my ancestry? Do I strike you as the type who would be bound by that kind of thing? I don't know, Kaya. You're quite the mystery. Relax. I'll be just as delighted to hunt down the Abyss Order tomorrow as I have always been. Kai just wants to chill in the tavern and vibe, literally. He's like, let me try every single form of alcohol that they have here in Sumeru, please. I think, I guess. Either way, looks like we're out of time. I've got a spice merchant to meet in a minute, so I'll leave the three of you to carry on the conversation without me. No, don't go. See you around. And Dainsliff, no need to listen in from the sidelines next time we meet. Let me buy you a drink. Oh, say less. Let me buy you a drink. <laughs> Kai was definitely feeling a little bit attacked. Yeah, his uh, demeanor of speaking also changed um, shortly after Dainsliff mentioned the Abyss Order. You don't really trust him, do you, Dane? You're both from Conria, but you get on like oil and water. The fact is, I still do not know him well. It would be meaningless for me to jump to conclusions. But can a person truly be unaffected by their ancestry? This remains to be seen. So you said that an Alberic founded the Abyss Order? I, f I thought my sibling was the founder. <laughs> hmm. Well, I suspect that they call your brother their prince. Precisely because there is a succession of sorts. The succession? Oh, so if he was the founder, he'd be the king, right? Oh, so what do you plan to do here in Sumeru? I mean to investigate the Loom of Fate. Do you remember that name? I don't know if I do. Yeah, the Abyss Order's evil plan! We learned about that back in Mondstadt. Oh, okay. I could not remember that. Loom of Fate. You've got a new lead? Not new. Not exactly. My memories suffer from erosion, but while I was recovering my health recently, I suddenly remembered something. Your brother. He mentioned the Loom of Fate back when we traveled together. It's so weird for him to just be casually saying, when I used to travel around with your brother, like just so casual. It's still insane to me. All the way back then? So that was already a thing several centuries ago? Apparently so. I was also quite surprised when these memories tallied up. I recall that we were traveling to Sumeru when the matter was brought up. So, you're going to the place that he mentioned back then? Correct. At that time, they must have been introduced in one way or another to this concept. If I recall correctly, we were somewhere in Avidya Forest then. Well Maybe we'll discover some secret that's lain hidden for hundreds of years! Bet. No. 
Now is not the time. Oh, thanks, Manny. I appreciate that. Are you concerned about the Abyss Order? Are we waiting for the perfect moment? No, it's just... What? I'm still waiting for my drink. Oh! <laughs> Casual. I'm still waiting for my drink. Seriously? <laughs> We've got a little jokester on our hands. Let's go meet up with Sucrose. <laughs> Sucrose? Wait, more sucrose? Is that did she literally say sucrose? Did I imagine that? I know, that was great, Indy. That was so great. <laughs> and the thing is, like, he wasn't even trying to be funny, but the timing was so comedic. It was such comedic timing. I loved it. He's like, I, I really just wait. <laughs> we have to finish my drink first. Oh, not me getting attacked. Hello? They were waiting for a moment. This time he's like, lol, I need my drink, literally. Wait. This place, it's familiar. Familiar? What about it? It looks pretty normal to Paimon. Was it like this hundreds of years ago, too? The drink is just that good. The plot can wait. Valid. So valid. Yes. The forest has barely changed from how I remember it. There is very little human activity here, after all. Let's search the area and see what we can find. God, his his outfit and his coat is still so iconic. Every time he comes up, he just stands out so nicely. Just gorgeous. I No words. I love it. He does kind of look like Dracula. That's a good point, but I love it. I love his aesthetic. It's, it's the black and the dark, dark gray with that really beautiful, vibrant blue. I love everything about it. Is this a field? It must belong to whoever owns that house over there. But it looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. You could be forgiven for thinking nothing was ever grown here. Or, wait, maybe nothing ever was grown here. Another game that I've never played, but gotcha. It's an extinguished bonfire. Forest rangers, perhaps? <laughs> Looks like it's been ages since it was last lit. And clearly they put it out carefully to prevent a forest fire, too. That's responsible. So responsible. Nothing else stands out in this area. All that's left is that building. Come on. Wait, we're just gonna go barging in? What if someone's home? Unlikely. There are no signs of life in this area. We should be able to enter without incident. Oh, so gorgeous. I love his cape. And he just has like such a fancy suit. He's so fancy. If you say so. Well, uh you lead the way then, Dane. <laughs> Enter the house and investigate. Okay. Enter. Op open door. Wow! So fancy. Also, let me switch characters real quick. Or teams, I should say. So fancy! Open the doors and then the fancy little leaves just like shoosh. I love it. Very fancy. Uh, so there really isn't anyone home. <laughs> this place is so dusty. Paimon bets no one's lived here in years. Investigate carefully. We mustn't miss a single detail. Yes, sir. Whoever used to live here like to cook, huh? Can't you smell it? There's a heavy scent of medicinal herbs in here. Oh, so it's a medicine bowl? Hmm. <laughs> Seems you're right. You've got a good nose on you, Dane. Okay. Next. There's a box over here. Why don't we open it? Uh, and by we, Paimon means you. Paimon's just scared that whatever's inside might bite her fingertips off. <laughs> it's a snake. What in the world is going through your head? You sure are going places with that, with your paranoia. Lumine, not even phased. Huh? This is a mirror. Wait, they showed this in the live stream trailer. Like the 3.5 trailer. Oh my gosh. It's broken too. Was this a makeup box? Oh my goodness. 
It's just a regular mirror. It's just broken. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Paima was hoping we'd uncover some super big secret. Whoa. Especially after Dane talked this place up. And last but not least, what do we got? This bed looks pretty ordinary. Huh. There's nothing underneath it either. What sort of person would want to live here? It's so dark and damp. Can't be all that comfortable. Paimon size Dane's lift like bet. There's anything else worth their attention here. Share sure it. Are we at the right place, Dane? She eats all the food so we don't have to. She annoys? No, she doesn't always annoy me. Just when she gets very, like, yeah, state the obvious, which is most of the time, but. <laughs> my memories are quite foggy, but my subconscious and instincts both assert that something once happened here. But we'll exhaust ourselves if we search aimlessly. Hmm. I hear noises outside. Let's go and check. I didn't hear anything. Noises? Is it? It's not much. Just some minor adversaries. Minor adversaries. Eremites? Who it be? Paimon moves the story along. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was an accident. My bad. Just just a bunch of random slimes. Okay. Monsters? Wow. Dave's ears are sharp, just like his nose. He's in surprisingly good shape for a 500-year-old. <laughs> Although, for someone who's as full of surprises as Jane, it's hardly a big deal. Anyway, let's beat up these monsters! Yes, ma'am. Right now. Show them. I didn't want to kill them too quickly because I was afraid it was going to cut Paimon off. I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything important. Emerge. Right here. Right now. Stay put! Boom. Easy peasy. Talk to Dane's life. Okay. Slimes! I doubt that the appearance of those monsters was wholly random. There must be something nearby that attracted them. A ley line anomaly, perhaps. Hmm. But it seems to be more than that. His eyes are so bejeweled. Like, this is just like a jewel. His eye is literally a jewel. It's so pretty. I said bejeweled. <laughs> Hi, Poe, how are you doing? Welcome in. Okay. I'm good. Go Thank you for asking. To investigate any issues with the nearby ley lines. I might be a while. You should wait for me here. What? You're going alone? You better not be trying to keep some secret from us. Your suspicions are as banal as they are unwarranted. I merely think that this house should remain the focus of our investigation. And as such, Someone ought to stay here and keep an eye on it. Not to mention that if even forest rangers are capable of investigating ley lines, I will be more than able to handle it alone. Oh, fair enough. Guess we'll just camp out here then. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Good thing there's a fireplace over there. Let's make ourselves something to eat. All this running around has made Paimon real hungry. Of course, it's time for food, as is per usual when Paimon's around. Light a bonfire. Oh, do I need a pyro character? Gosh dang it. Alrighty. Oh my god, it got cold. I was hot earlier, and now I'm cold. is as good as ever. Even if there was no other reason, the food alone would be enough for Paimon to stick with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paimon. That was very kind. Well, freeloading comes more naturally to you than most. <laughs> You're easy to please. Changing the subject. Dane's taking forever. He said that there might be an issue with the nearby ley lines. How bad do you think it could be? <sighs> we came together, but... Now it's back to just being the two of us again. You know, now that Baima mentions it, we really have spent lots and lots of time together, haven't we? I feel like once a year 
or maybe a little more than once a year, maybe like twice a year, Paimon has this moment where she's like, I'm really grateful for you. We've spent so much time together. We've had such a long journey doing all these things. Um, so don't take this the wrong way or anything, but, uh, do, do you ever get tired of Paimon being around? Yes, <laughs> obviously. You make my day every day, Paimon. That is the biggest fat lie ever. Not really. You're better than nothing, I guess. Let's go with that. The other one's kind of mean. It's a little bit too mean. <sighs> okay, fine. Paimon should have known you weren't going to say anything nice. <laughs> hmm. So, um, next question. Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but Paimon's curious. What was it like traveling with your brother? Wait, why is that so funny to me? Don't know if it's okay to ask this, but Paimon's curious. Like the fact that she prefaced with, I don't know if it's okay to ask this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Stars? We'd gaze at the stars just like this, and we'd point at the planets we wanted to visit. Wow. We traveled through the universe, always by each other's side. We saw all manner of hope and despair. This is the first time we've ever been separated. If nothing else, I just want to know what happened. Yeah, Hyman understands. Being separated without even knowing the reason why, it's just terrible. The reason why? <laughs> but we'll find the truth together. Sure as Paimon's your guide. Just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tavat. <laughs> just you wait, Heavenly Principles. And you too, Tavat. Damn. What did Tavat do to you? <laughs> you too, Tavat. about this sad stuff let's talk about something happy instead because if you're sad paimon will be too don't worry about it paimon all right all right it's getting dark so why don't you rest paimon will take first watch don't worry no monster's gonna come and eat you up are you sure paimon well this is a first paimon not going to bed before me oh come on don't say that paimon just wants to look after you for once See, but she said that with, like, the creepiest eyes. Before she closed her eyes and, like, smiled, she said that with really creepy eyes. Good night, then, Paimon. Good night. Go on, chew. Off to sleep. Why are you being so pushy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is this? Cursed. And then... And then they only gave him one sock. He said, you probably can't dress yourself. <laughs> Memories of your sibling fill your mind as you fall soundly asleep. Oh, that's sweet. I hope they're good memories. Hey, time to wake up. The sun has risen. This is exactly how I want to wake up. <laughs> Just Dainsliff. Hey, time to wake up. The sun has risen. That's it. That's all I need in life. Oh! Oh! Angle! <laughs> I love the blurry eyes, like, slowly awakening to Dainsliff. Good morning, sweetheart. Good morning, husband. <laughs> what a deep sleeper. You do know that we need to... Hmm? Tear stains. You dreamed of your sibling last night, didn't you? Lumine! Oh my gosh. All right. Tear Rest stains. Rest here a bit longer then. I'll head into the forest to investigate. Oh. Huh? Why are you going back into the forest? Did she actually go back to sleep? Oh my gosh. Poor Lumine. <sighs> Oh, and now she's waking up. She's like, mm, I feel so good. So well rested. Hmm? How did I sleep till morning? Why didn't Paimon wake me up to switch shifts? Hang on a moment. Where is Paimon anyway? 
Ah, I vaguely remember Dane coming over. Did Paimon go into the woods with him? Seeing how I hadn't woken up yet? Yeah, I'm like, where is everybody? Whatever the case, looks like it's just me here for now. Guess it's time to stretch my limbs and have a look around. Clatter. <laughs> Wait, did that noise come from inside the house? Paimon, is that you? Paimon, this isn't the time for hide and seek. No reply. I should go inside and check. Star-crossed night. We got an achievement. Okay. Look for Paimon inside the house. Halt! Oh. Intimidating what man. Do you think you're doing? Ah! You startled me! This place is not whatever you think it is. Nor should you be poking your nose into my business. That's quite the fit. That is quite the fit he has on. I digs. He looks kind of drippy. Whoa, whoa, just calm down. I'm only here to look for my traveling companion. Your travel companion? You mean the one that was keeping watch by your side last night? <laughs> oh, what is that, like, creepy laugh he got going on? Your companion departed for the forest early this morning. <laughs> that much I saw with my own eyes. I thought so. Still, I don't know if I can trust this person's word just yet. So you mean to say that you were nearby last night? What business is that of yours, hmm? All you need to know is, is this that a question? I claimed this place first. And what I do here is none of your concern. Yes, sir. Do I make myself quite clear? Quite clear. Leave. Yes, sir. Anything you say, sir. There's something strange about this person. I need to find out what he's hiding. Well, what are you waiting for? I don't think I'll have much luck trying to find my companion in the woods. I think I'm better off waiting here for them to come back. <sighs> if you must, suit yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> He also has the eyes. I'm like, sir, what are you? Who are you? He has like the aqua version of Dane's left eyes. Uh, his voice is so good. Yeah, he's doing this like creepy laugh thing every time he like pauses. It's quite interesting. Who is I've this guy? been observing you. And you don't look like a forest ranger nor someone from the academia. Still, I'm warning you. No funny business. Promise me that, and you can do as you please. <laughs> oh my god, I'm no villain, nor will I pretend to be a saint. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. Just move aside. May I, I join? <laughs> May I join you? I was out here all night. I'm cold. You... <laughs> <laughs> he hates us so much. He despises us. <sighs> Oh, go on then. Have it your way. I knew I wasn't going to be able to hide this anyway. Just, just come in. <laughs> but no overreacting to anything you see in here, okay? You understand me? We totally haven't been inside there ever before. Never. We've never been inside. <laughs> Relax. I've been around. It takes a lot to phase me. Got it? Why so serious? Literally, Blazer. Honestly. <laughs> This guy, not sus at all. Nope, not one bit. Come on, then. I was not expecting him to actually let us come inside. <laughs> Hilly Churl? A Hilly Churl? Why do you keep a Hilly Churl at home? Mind your own business. And don't worry, he isn't aggressive. <laughs> oh my goodness, what How is going he on? He was too young for anything like that. So don't you lay a finger on him. Just find yourself a corner to rest <laughs> if you're tired or cold. You're from Conria, aren't you? Huh? You know Conria? Who are you? Exactly. And how do you know I'm from Conria? Oh, I love the way he emphasized these statements. That was really good. I'm just a traveler. I've met others from Conria. 
Your clothes. Your eyes. <sighs> Do you worship a god, traveler? I follow no god. In fact, I count some of them as my foes. I follow no god, though I count some of them as my friends. Well, let's go with friends this time. Hmm. Sounds like you've had an eventful life. <laughs> All right, well, um, my name is Ida. Ida. And you are correct. I was once Conrian. Oh, uh, I apologize for my earlier hostility, but you must understand, as, as far as I'm concerned, humans who do not worship the Seven are nigh extinct, and all who place faith in the gods are my enemies. <laughs> that sounds a little too black and white, spoken like a true Conrian. I like these dialogue options so far. That may be. But the fact is that chances to talk to people like yourself have been few and far between since the cataclysm. This wretched curse of immortality. I, who knows how long I must continue to suffer like this. What is the curse of immortality exactly? I take it that's how you've survived for so long? <laughs> Oh, not the suffering. The curse. The half done <laughs> quest, it's all coming back. It was a little gift given to the people of Conria by those vile gods. I know. That that part of the quest really made me like sob. I I, I sobbed. That half done quest, yeah. I sobbed. We lost our home. Our That one was really ones. emotional everything the agony of the cataclysm itself was already too much to bear but then came the curse robbing us any chance of release oh uh, you can feel the pain all we can do is watch helplessly as our souls erode and our bodies decay so Ida is just like Dane, someone who bears the curse of immortality. So why did some people turn into Hilly Churls while you were afflicted by this curse instead? Because although Conria began with a single bloodline, it was a home to others too. Any who forsook their gods and came to Conria were welcomed as our fellow citizens. <laughs> when the Cataclysm came, we pure blood Conrians were declared the greater sinners. Upon us, the gods placed the curse of immortality. But those whose ancestry belonged to the domains of other gods were punished with the curse of the wilderness as they fled, turning them into monsters. Oh, gosh. He is Kari Bear. Oh! My illegitimate son. Oh, jeez. Yikes. That's a hard one. Oh, I was not... I did not see that coming. <laughs> I can say that out loud with no consequence now, but... Oh. It was once a matter of unspeakable shame. Ugh. I was a noble of Conria. I resented the life that my family had arranged for me. Then, one day, I met a beautiful woman amongst the people. Her roots were in Mondstadt, but that mattered not to me. It was love at first sight. Oh. Kari Bear faced great hardship from the very moment of his birth. All due to my selfish desires. And, and I was never able to be there by his side for any of it. Oh yeah, this voice acting keeps getting even better. After all that, he turned into a hilly troll right before my very eyes. Oh, goodness. I always owed him much, and now I, at least I can finally be close to him. 
Oh, jeez. What happened to his mother? She was. <laughs> we were separated. I do not wish to dwell on it. I'm sorry. I know this must cause you great pain. Hmm. It could be worse. I suffer the pain of loss because I once had everything I could wish for. <laughs> and now, now that I have lost almost everything, the little that remains I see with new clarity. If nothing else, at least I still have Kari Bear. But do you? Do you really have Kari Bear? What do you plan to do now? What were you planning to do around here? I'm sure you're wondering why I brought Kari Bear here to Sumeru. Well, it's because he needs a medicine that can only be made here. Indy, <laughs> I'm a shut it, people sit. <laughs> okay. One which will help him to recover his clarity of mind. Clarity of mind. When we were in the chasm, Dane said that the curse could not be undone. Is recovery really possible? I do not hope to break the curse. I am well aware of my powerlessness against the punishment of the gods. But it is said that this medicine is imbued with the power of Sumeru's god of wisdom and can awaken the mind from a state of deep stupor. It has been used in the past to treat cases of mania. <laughs> of mania? <laughs> The laughs. I really think it's just like the timing of his laughs are really incredible. Like these kind of deep, um, they're like half laughs, half concerned sounds. I don't know. It's really interesting. Um, but anyways, let's, uh, let's go talk to Nahida real quick and confirm this medicine. I believe that it might just work. <laughs> Where did you hear of this? I read about it in a book. <laughs> From the Royal Library of Conria. It was banned. <laughs> I mean, since this medicine requires the power of the seven to work. He sounds like a manic. Yeah, that's a good word, BB. That's a good word. He's In been through a youth, lot. I, I disliked the life of nobility and craved excitement. I was leafing through some forbidden text and happened upon it. You know, there must have been a reason it was banned. It sounds dangerous. <laughs> what other choice do I have? Hmm? What exactly would you have me do? Huh? The gods have already punished us. What does one more sin matter now? I'm kind of, I kind of side with Ayn here. <laughs> I, uh, what does one more sin matter literally at this point? All right, don't get too worked up. I understand. No matter what, you have to try. Never mind. Never mind. As uh, long as you understand. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I struggle to take control of my mood sometimes. Uh, perhaps a consequence of having lived too long, as it happens. I am in dire need of some help to make this medicine. My hands don't have the dexterity they once did. I, uh, I fear they may be decaying from within. Oh, God. Oh, thanks to this curse of immortality. That's so intense. I never really thought about that, but, like, decaying from within, that's insane. I never even thought about this concept. Okay. To start with, uh, take this ingredient. A mushroom? I've never seen a mushroom of this kind before. Uh, also, uh, do you have any uh, of uh, Sumeru's regional specialties on hand? I believe they're called Kalpalata lotuses and Sumeru roses. I sure do. I've picked some before, yes. Oh, wonderful. Oh, in, in that case, we have everything we need. Imagine you do this quest and you don't have a single Sumeru rose or Calipolata lotus or whatever it's called. <laughs> you have to like dip real quick. <laughs> He's like, uh, yeah, you should go find some. 
<laughs> Lamine's like, I'll be right back. This is the method for making the medicine. You just need to follow the steps. Yes, sir. The idea of decaying from within freaks me out so much. Same. Also, I saw those two flowers. I need to grab them. I was like, I need those. I'm always low on the calpa calpalata lotuses. <laughs> Let me just grab a couple extras. Synthesize the nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. Earth and water, wind and fire, craft for me what I desire. Ooh, the smell of this stings your nose and will not easily fade. According to the records, this medicine requires the power of the god of wisdom to awaken the addled mind. Perhaps it might be able to resist the curse. Okay. The, s the sickness unto... What? Oh, I'm in a special story mode. Oh, whoa! That's interesting. You're currently in a special story mode. You will be able to continue it even if you leave. Do you wish to leave? I've never seen that message before. Not that I've ever tried to exit in the middle of a important quest, but I don't think I've ever seen that. Um... Yeah, no Paimon map. Done? Oh, splendid. Let me see. Hmm. In all honesty, I do not know what the end product is supposed to look like. <laughs> the band book didn't feature any illustrations. <laughs> How freaking crazy is that you can see the pyramid all the way back here? That's crazy. It's so far away and there's so many mountains literally covering it, but you can still see this. Well, the moment has finally arrived. Curses. Excuse me? Is it time to give Kari Bear the medicine? No, no. We need to perform one okay. final step okay. to complete Whatever you say. the medicine. Yes, anything I you say. I before that this medicine relies on the power of the God of Wisdom for its restorative effects. Yes. Which means we must pay a visit to a statue of the Seven. Once? Wait, what? Ouch, that can't be easy for someone from Conria. I understand your reluctance. Since he needs the God of Wisdom's power, should I get Nahida to help? That's what I've been saying all along! I'm like, I feel like we could just grab Nahida and be like, yo, is this gonna do anything at all? Forget it. I'd hate the gods. It would complicate things. I'll just do it his way. Let's go. Bring the medicine with you. The desperation in his voice. Let's go. Oh man. I'm scared for like a really bad failed attempt right now. There are a few quests like this where no one can join you. This one you can't see the pause menu though, right? I just got a godly artifact for Nahida when I get a nice Pablo. Congrats. Up, up and away. Up, up, and away. I love her. I love her. Look at this statue. How can I bow before this thing? God of wisdom, look at me. I will utter no prayer, nor will I sing your praises. You and your kind destroyed my home. Wrought unfathomable suffering on my compatriots, yet he... Here I stand before you. you. You cannot mock me more than fate itself already has. Ugh, it makes me so sad to like, <laughs> to hear him talk and like everything he says is with this like sense of doom. It's like nothing can get worse. There's nothing worse than what I already am going through or have been through. Like, everything he says, it's just like, everything is doom, doomsday. Like, there's literally nothing that you can do to tear me down any more than I already have. And it's just really sad. God of wisdom, I seek not to disavow myself of the sinful blood that flows through my veins. I wish only to beseech you to have pity upon a young and unfortunate soul. 
Young unfortunate souls. My son, Carabere. He was turned into a monster before he had the chance to witness anything beautiful in this world. Aw. This is no fate for a child. Ah, he got me in the feels. <laughs> ah. If everything the gods have done was in order to have the impious people of Conry bow their heads, then I... Bow to you now. <laughs> I have given up all I ever stood for. All I ask is for a tiny miracle. For Carabere to see this world once more. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> oh, jeez. Please, God. I beg of you. Oh no, there it is. I may not know the whole truth behind the cataclysm, but the people of Conria have truly suffered. What? Why could Conria and the Seven not coexist in peace? I have made quite enough of a fool of myself for one day. Let's go. <sighs> oh, you guys. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. Just like him begging because he's like, I have nothing to lose at this point. There's literally nothing I can lose and I will do anything for my, my child. Oh, that's so sad. I, cause I don't know that I necessarily would have cried if it wasn't for the actual performance and delivery of, of these voice lines. Yeah. Like just imagine if, I, I, here's the thing, right? Genshin is a game where the voice acting is so, so incredibly important in these kinds of quests because they're not very expressive. Even the, even the playable characters, right? The actual facial expressions, body language, body expressions, they're not super, super expressive. They save that for the actual like normal attacks and skills and bursts. But when it comes to just like being out there and about, right? Like the characters are not very expressive. They only add very minimal things uh, into the character. And so the the voice acting becomes like tantamount to the experience and it is so crucial especially for a quest like this for the delivery of these um these lines to be so powerful and uh impactful uh just for this story to really hit home the way you know hoyo probably wants it to i'm just i'm so impressed like we have had just some of the absolute best best voice acting i think in the entire game since the beginning of sumeru boom we made it back oh my gosh here we go administer the dose of medicine to the hilly turtle oh gosh no yoi mia do not climb on top of kari bear <laughs> please kari bear The hilly trail seems almost lifeless. Its reactions to everything are incredibly weak. Well, uh, we've prepared the medicine. We might as well try it. With your help, Ide feeds the newly made medicine to Kari Bear. Bear. It's me. It's your father, Kari Bear. Oh, this is gonna break me. I can feel it. I can feel more tears incoming. Kari Bear. Please, say something. I'm sorry I couldn't be at your side when you were born. And that I... I failed to reach you and Mama in time when you both were suffering. But I'm here now. Papa's been by your side all these years. I've never left you, not once. Are you still angry with me, Kari Bear? Oh, my heart. I know you're awake now. Do you not want to talk to me? Oh. I'm so sorry, Kari Bear. Forgive me. 
Please, say something, anything. Please. Please. <laughs> this hurts to watch. Because, like, you know how much pain they're in, but they're only making it worse for themselves. And it's hard to see someone do that to themselves. So, uh, I'd stop. It didn't work. <laughs> oh. oh, gods above. What more do you want from me? This is so painful. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm definitely hurting, like, watching this. Oh, man. You took everything from here, and I still bowed to you. I'd give you my very life if only you cared to take it. But you won't even let me die. <laughs> I knew it. I should never have trusted anything that had to do with the gods. I was <laughs> just deluding myself. The gods of this world have never stood with humanity, not even for a moment. Calm down, I. There might be other reasons it didn't work. Other reasons? What do you mean? Such as, who knows, perhaps the dosage was too low. Or maybe it takes a full course of treatment. Huh. You, uh, you really think so? You have to exhaust all options, unless you're ready to give up on Kari Bear. Give up? No, no, n never. And yes, you're right. I, I, I cannot let myself wallow in despair. Even if I must stay here with him for fifty years, a hundred, what difference does it make? I, I do not lack for time. That's the spirit. I'll keep helping you. Ah. Oh. To have infinite time, yet no hope, can only be called torture. Literally this. Oh my god. Literal torture. To have infinite time, yet no hope. That just sounds like the worst nightmare. Ugh. It honestly, like, applies to so many real-world scenarios, too. Which is why, like, this line hits pretty hard, not gonna lie. Hmm. Let's go. We'll make another dose. <laughs> the most crucial ingredient in this medicine is the unusual mushroom, which makes things <laughs> complicated, <laughs> but not impossible. Where did you get those mushrooms from anyway? Where did he get these mushrooms from? I grow oh. them <laughs> in that field. Wait, in a field? Like a crop? The details don't matter, right? <laughs> Curb your curiosity and just do as I instruct. If you truly wish to help me, that is how you can do it. Fine. That's so interesting. There is a waterfall near the statue I prayed at. Oh my god. I need you to collect some water from there around <laughs> two in the afternoon. I'll be here watching Kari Bear. Once you're back, I will make some fertilizer for the mushrooms. Fertilizer for the mushrooms, okay. Good. Then please head over when the time comes. <laughs> Time passes quickly. Before you know it, it is two in the afternoon. Go to the waterfall to fetch some water. Okay. This way. Oh, this way. Wrong side of the waterfall, I guess. This way? Where are we going? Th okay, this waterfall. We found it. <laughs> Give I the water. Okay. Oh, wait, I keep forgetting. No map. <laughs> no map. No map. Boom. Thank goodness for these bad boys. Doo -doo. Ah, you're back. Uh, uh, Kara Bear's condition is stable. By which I mean he still isn't responding. Oh, goodness. Anyway, give me the water. Thank you for the lurk bubble. I appreciate it. 
You drew this water at two in the afternoon from a waterfall beside a statue of the seven, just as I'd requested. Strange mushroom watering water. Interesting. Why two in the afternoon? Did he did he explain that? What, what was that? I'd carefully waters his fields. I need you to stand guard here for a while. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let any forest rangers approach the house. Understand? Yes, whatever you say. Of course, your secret is safe with me. Ah, good. I'll be back soon. The fertilizer won't take but a moment to make. You wait in the field for Ide to return. After a while... Monsters! Aha! Aha! Interesting! So before... When we were talking to Dainsliff inside the hut, those slimes came out of nowhere. And now, a bunch of other little fungi monsters from Sumeru are showing up. So whatever is going on in this little field is definitely attracting the monsters, right? Does watering the field somehow attract the monsters? Hmm, better fend them off. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. What if the what if the monsters are the mushroom? <laughs> what if the <laughs> What if the mushrooms that he's using for the medicine are the actual <laughs> the fungi monsters? Quietly now. Fire hazard. <laughs> Go queen. Yes. <laughs> Boom. Pop off. Wait, you know Stabilize. Misaki too? Oh my god, Indy's one of those. You know everybody. Gotcha. <laughs> Boom. The <field> is lit. <laughs> On some interesting thoughts. I don't know why I couldn't help but get a little <laughs> diabolical with those conclusions there. Oh my god, going Mia's little thing's still going around. Oh my gosh. Pyro Lumine unlocked. We just glitched Lumine into fast forwarding to Natlin. <laughs> we literally just got Pyro Lumine. That was awesome. That looks quite nice on her. Oh, thank goodness you were here. I couldn't have taken them on all by myself. I'd have to uh, hide and wait until they were gone. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, I've got the fertilizer. The effects can take some time to kick in, so... Let's get on with it. I'd spread the fertilizer evenly. Before long, the elemental energy... Oh, I didn't Next, read that fast enough. Pick the mushrooms and repeat the same steps as before to make another dose. <laughs> I trust you still remember the method. Yes, sir. <laughs> They're so pretty, though. I love the, like, purple and pink. One and two. Synthesize the nameless taboo medicine of the royal court. Earth and water, wind and fire, craft for me what I desire. Earth and water, wind and fire, craft for me what I desire. Someone said I was a rap god, so I'm just giving you, you know, I'm just giving everyone what, what they want to hear. Also, why is this reminding me of kind of like... I don't know. I guess it was just like the repetitive nature of this gave me. I don't know. I think I just have PTSD from the Subzeris Festival, and I have PTSD of him asking us to do thing to do this over and over again. <laughs> Did this change? This is still the same. Okay, just making sure. Beautiful. Hmm. I the medicine's ready. Hey, stop daydreaming. Oh, uh, sorry. I just, uh, after resting in this field for a while, my thoughts began to wander. I have been so very wary for many years. If only I could fall asleep here in this field and never wake up again. But though the curse denies you even this, you still have Kari Bear. <laughs> I do indeed. That's this is why so it sad, was man. just a fleeting thought. 
Thank you for your help once again. And now, for the final step, back to the Statue of the Seven. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> this man is fighting demons for real. He really is. Oh man, I feel for him. I really feel for him. Like, this is some deep pain. We're here. Let's begin. Like, it hurts me to s <gasps> Wait a moment. Hey, what was that? Kari Bear? What? He left the house? I'm like, are you sure that's Kari Bear? It's not one of the other, like, thousands of hilly turtles. <laughs> that's so f up. <laughs> That was so mean. <laughs> oh no. He must have left while we were too busy preparing the medicine to notice. Come on. We have to catch up with him. <laughs> Are we sure that's Kari? <laughs> A lamenter at fate's end. Follow the hilly trail. I love this little cave. It's so nostalgic because this is where we first walked into Sumeru. And like, I don't know, it makes me feel things. <laughs> there he goes. That's, uh, that's not Kari Bear. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No way! <laughs> Stop it right now! I... <laughs> Bro! <laughs> uh, his dad didn't even know! I know! I'm okay. Looks like you were right, Mon. His dad is blind! I was joking! I was making a really mean joke! Oh man, I hate that I'm right. I, <laughs> I hate that I'm right. No, it's not. There's no sil silk scarf around his arm. Huh, right. And Kari Bear's scarf was a gift I once gave to his mother. I use it now as a marker of sorts. Aw. My, my eyes must be going. <laughs> How could I not recognize my own son? <laughs> This decrepit body of mine. I know his eyes are literally going bad from the inside. It's like the like his hands and his dexterity. Still, this hilly trail, there's something strange about it. Ah, yes. It doesn't seem interested in us in the least. It seems intent on walking in that direction. Where could it be going? No idea. Let's go have a look. Yes. <laughs> yes. The more we know about Hilly Churls, the better. <laughs> Love him. So good. Okay. Follow the Hilly Churl. Boom. He's going into the chasm. What are you? Where are you going? What are you doing? Is he gonna cross the blue smoke? Oh. Did it go in here? Hmm, well, uh, let's head in. Unknown sanctuary. Ooh. What a ghastly place. Has it always existed? I, I swear I've never noticed it before. Oh my gosh, that's right. This is the place where during the live stream I was questioning. I was like, is this Inconomia or the chasm? Because they look so similar with how eerie the vibes are. I couldn't tell which one of the two it was. I had a feeling it was the chasm because of one part that they showed, but look, what are those hilly turtles doing? Huh. It looks like they're... Uh worshipping sometimes uh, walking sometimes kneeling in worship and and it appears to be in earnest are they worshipping our brother oh my god what is going on i don't know what's happening that's what i thought yeah hindrance i've 
never seen anything like this in all my life. What in the world does this place conceal? Welcome to the chasm. <laughs> oh, there's only one way to find out. The air here and this creepy scene, it's eerily familiar. Oh boy, continue exploring. Wait, what is this? This is so weird. It is so weird to see the hilly trolls just praying like that. Or worshipping, yeah. Like bowing down. Oh my god. What? This is so bizarre. I feel like I should be following them, right? Like not go ahead of them? I mean, I could just pass them, but I kind of want to see like them leading up to wherever it is they're actually going. The music in this section is so beautifully haunting. Yeah. Oh, that is so gorgeous. I feel like I don't normally see this turn um, purple. Like, isn't it normally green whenever we see these like ermine soul like thingies? I don't even know what they're called, like the gates. It is usually green, right? It's very ermine soul looking this time. Like it actually kind of, I mean, I guess Ermansoul usually is reflected like kind of a pink and purple. But yeah, it's it feels very extra Ermansoul, more than usual, <laughs> as opposed to like the green color. Oh, sneaky. Almost missed that. <gasps> Ugh, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Oh my gosh, not right now. There. Okay, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, sh whoa, this is so cool. Is this that a teleportation device? What energy is powering it? Okay, Sarah Miller Cruz, get your paycheck, girl. Get your paycheck. Finally, Lumine has voice signs. Monta Ith, hold on. I know you got your son and all, but I gotta roll these pieces. <laughs> Literally, Coda. Oh my gosh. This is wild. We're literally in like <laughs> Chasm, Conria, and Kanomiya hybrid. That's where we're at. You know what it looks like? The, um, you know that floating part in the chasm? Like somewhere in the center, there was like that upside down waypoint. That entire structure, it's like, it looks exactly like that. Oh, well, there's one right here. <laughs> Just like in my face. This is so epic. This is so freaking epic. Oh my gosh, I love this. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was so hard to climb it on the rocket, literally. I still don't remember how to properly get to the upside down city, like unless I use that waypoint. Okay, so that's our goal over there. Cool. Boom. No Paimon, no map. No Paimon, no map. Oh. Okay, what does this do? That looks so cool, by the way. Pick up. Oh, okay. So it's like a key to open that, maybe? Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm disturbing your worship. I... This is so cool. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Did I just mess up? How did I get on the ceiling? Did the room turn upside down or gravity itself? Whoa, I did not mean to do that. I wasn't done exploring. Can I go back? Oh man, <laughs> speaking of inverted city, literally. Okay, 
I've okay there we go because I was not done I, I didn't actually think I was gonna be able to go through it okay so I guess I can't actually do anything let me check the other side just to be sure just to be sure oh there's a chest in there okay 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 good to know <laughs> I did the same thing by accident. I know I kind of just got really maybe a little bit too close to it. I was just walking here. I didn't even touch it. And then boom. I was so lost here. This is much like the ga gateways the lector said he should he should have shut in relation to Dane traveling them in the last Dane quest. Ooh. Interesting. Good point. Okay, so grab this. Oh wow, this is so cool. It seems like I need to find a place to insert the rune. Oh, okay. Do we go back? Is that what needs to happen? I got two of them. <laughs> Let's go back and see what happens. <laughs> okay. Did this open? Yes. Okay. It was this one. The one with the chest. Perfect. Grab all that. Where is this taking me? Oh boy, to the other one? The other gate? Yeah, there we go. Sick. There it is, boom. But I feel like this is gonna like drop me into the oblivion. Am I about to just like pew? Ooh, cool. Oh, so I would have fallen in theory. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh shit. <laughs> Imagine I just like kapoop to my death. And then I can't revive my characters. <laughs> Imagine no Paimon, no map, also equals no inventory. You can't heal. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes! Fate has not granted you the right to enter this place. Oh my goodness. An Abyss Herald? No, he doesn't look like someone from the Abyss Order. Hmm. Do you insist on an audience? Very well. Then I grant you the trial of destiny. The trial of destiny? Ice Daddy! Okay, let's let's read the description real quick. Abyss Herald Frost Fall. Oh my gosh. I should have known we were about to get Ice Puppy. Ice Puppy. I should have known we were about to get Ice Puppy in here. An Abyss Order monster that uses a dark power to command ice and frost in battle. Some of its attacks decrease the stamina of characters while dealing damage against them. Okay. Fair enough. Our bond is strong. Grow, grow, grow. Fallen leaves. Adorn my night. The temple of wisdom. Wicker. Oh, well now. Oh, okay. He has his shield. Ooh, okay. Dendro versus the shield. Not bad. Out of my way. Dissipate. <laughs> Ah! Oh my god. Go, go, go. I'll hate them. Yeah, the Dendro seems to be working pretty okay. And so does the Electro, of course. Okay, Electro. Okay, Electro is actually doing most of the work now that I think about it. Process of elimination. Gonna waste my burst on him right now, but whatever. Nice. We got him. Cool. Easy peasy. Who was that? He was... Uh, he was... Terrifying. I've seen similar characters Water before. Water would be nice! Terrifying. I've seen similar characters before. He was a perfect being. I'm in awe. What? He had the most wondrous aura, a perilous Ooh, truly mesmerizing. And yet, you were able to defeat him. Oh, your strength is greater than I had imagined. 
The laugh. I can't. The laugh. You have unconventional tastes. You just have lots of combat experience. I just have cut lots of combat experience. Let's continue on. I find myself growing more curious by the second and uh, more excited. <laughs> that was a very dramatic, slow, dramatic door opening. Okay, boom. We've made it to the end. What is that thing? <gasps> Ooh. Wrapped in chains, hanging in midair, emanating a sinister aura. There's no mistaking it. It's just like the defiled statue. <sighs> ah! Yup, there it is. There it is. So it does have something to do with the Abyss Order. And these worshipping hilly trolls remind me a little too much of the Grand Thief. I like that they're providing little picture flashbacks. Ide, this place is bad news. We've got to go. We've got to go. <sighs> oh my god, what is going on? He started worshipping too, Ide? Oh dear creature, why do you bow down? For fear of the unknown? For power that you covet. Whose voice is that? It must be coming from right inside my head. Can't I hear it? Oh, dear creature, why do you bow down? Oh my gosh. For I am no god, I am but a sinner. A sinner? You are like a flower born in sin. Yet pure, spotless. I know your fate well. What is happening? You need no longer hold back your resentment, nor accept the countless lies. Nor accept the countless lies. Go forth, become the transcendent one. Yes. Ow. Rise beyond the fate bestowed upon you. Yo, this is so eerie. I love it. And I shall shed a tear at the end of time, as I gaze back upon your life. Who in the world are you? What do these words mean? The voice, it's gone. Huh? I'd? <laughs> What just happened? <laughs> when I saw that thing, my my heart was instantly at peace. I I was overcome by a, a sense of awe or, or joy, perhaps. Oh my goodness. Kind of like a Habasia moment. Literally the way he was just completely like overtaken by this this feeling to act in this way, that was wild. And I mean, the same thing happening with the Hurley Turtles right now. Are you all right now? I am. I feel uh, good. In fact, I, I, I feel better than I did before I came in here. <laughs> How peculiar. Something's not right about this place. We need to get out of here. Oh, uh, is that so? All right, as you wish. Completely agree, Indy. Completely agree. You leave the Omnis Cave and return to Ide's house. No, I didn't want to leave! No, I want to stay here! I didn't want to leave yet! I literally did not want to leave yet. Please, can we go back? Oh my gosh. Kari Bear! Oh, thank goodness! He's still okay. Don't we still need to go to the Statue of the Seven? Why are we back here? I have a strange feeling that what just happened was meant to be. For this to happen, right at the moment when I was dreading worshipping at a Statue of the Seven, it's as if fate was calling to me. 
<laughs> you say that I bowed before that thing, so perhaps it might be just as effective. That sounds like a ridiculous idea, but if you insist... Well, I have to try. No matter what, you said it yourself. I... I have to exhaust all options. <laughs> That's wild, though, because, like, that just seems so scary to all of a sudden be, like, worshipping something. You have no idea what's happening. And then you're at peace and you feel like fate just everything fell into place. Like, that's just so crazy to imagine that happening to you. Another dose of medicine is administered to the hilly turtle. Uh, Kari Bear? <laughs> Papa? Oh my god. Papa? Kari <gasps> oh, my goodness, it worked. It's a miracle. Oh, oh, Kari Bear, my dear son. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I'm stunned. You see? Totally not right. crying. Kari nope. Bear can speak again. What in the frick? Where's Mama? Oh my god. Mama is... Uh, Cory Bear, look at me. Do you know who I am? Of course. Your Papa. <laughs> salvation! Sweet salvation! Yes, yes, this is... This is what this feeling is. Uh, how do you feel, Kari Bear? Uh, are you fully awake now? <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> oh my lord. I know I feel that, BB. I feel the same way at the same time. Yes. It feels like I just woke up from a long, long sleep. I dreamed that I was Welcome to Naganohara. I didn't dare go out the whole time, and I didn't want to either. Wait. Oh my gosh, not the realization. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, no. <gasps> my body! What happened to me? Is this... Is this me? Oh no. Papa! What's happened to me? Oh my gosh. Uh, it, it, don't panic, son. It's just... Um, while you were sleeping, we, we went into a fairy tale world. There, there's no more Conry uh, here. Um, no more home. But, oh my but, god. But, do you know what that means? No more red sky. No more end of the world. In this world, you, you have to be a, a little monster, but, but you get to stay with Papa forever. Am I dead? Mm, am I dead? I see dead people. No, 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 of course not. Look, Kari Bear, you, you still have Mama's scarf on your arm. That means she's watching over you, protecting you. So how could you be dead? Really? Yes, really. You've all only just woken up, and, and this must all be very confusing for you. Just rest here for now. Things will get better. Oh, oh, and, um, you have to promise me something. Never take off your mask. Understand? Whatever happens, you mustn't take it off. Um, I'm gonna show you guys something. I can't imagine being human when you go to bed the next time you wake up. Your dad is crazy and you've become a monster. Do you guys remember Faceless Ayato? 
that that is what Kari Bear looks like with the mask off. <laughs> this is canon. Oh, rough. It's, it's rough out there. Okay, Papa. I won't. I the way he just agreed. No questions asked. Father and son talk for a long time. Ein seems like a changed man after his... Not since that day have I been so glad as I am now. I can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I knew that placing my hope in the Seven was a waste of time. <laughs> I, I even worshipped at one of their statues like a, like a common fool. <laughs> Never before have I humiliated myself like that. Once a murderer, always a murderer. <laughs> I was naive to think that the gods who conspired against us would ever offer redemption. But the god we saw in that cave, oh, now that was a truly mighty god. Nothing like one of the seven. That wondrous power. Whoa. It was truly enchanting. I... <laughs> Surely that that must have been the reason I bowed down. Surely. Hmm. Now then, after one beseeches a god, and the god responds by answering their prayers, should they, uh, mm, do something to show their devotion? Piety is hardly my area of expertise. <laughs> But surely I should honor the god that has honored my wishes. But I, that was not a god. That was a sinner. Now he believes in a god, right? I mean, like, that easy, right? It's like, oh, you helped my child and then boom. Like, I give you everything? Just like that? Hmm. A sinner? Oh, don't be absurd. Already. You, I knew this was you coming. You don't know a single thing about him. How dare you utter such blasphemy? You and I have both witnessed his divine power. When has the Seven worked a miracle like this before? Hmm? Never. He is a god mightier than they, and yet you would call him a sinner. Oh, oh preposterous. No matter. <laughs> Believe what you will, you cannot shake my faith. I am going to pay my respects with or without you. Oh boy. You. Fine. Go ahead. Ide's experience has deeply affected him. Not that he was particularly stable to begin with, but this religious fervor is something else. I guess I'd better catch up with him anyway. There are monsters everywhere. I can't stand by and let him fall into their hands. Yeah, because your friggin' mushroom fertilizer is attracting all the monsters. <laughs> okay, cool. We're going back to the cavern. This is great. I do kind of love this no Paimon map chunk. This is really cool. Boom. One, two. Back to the cave we go. I'm glad we're going back. <laughs> Here we go again. Boom. All right. Here we go again. He is a cursed Conry, and they all are. Thank you. Oh, wait. I do actually kind of want to switch my party back to. Let's go. Oh, hey, Thumb, Nahida, Cookie, and Kazuha. All right. Everyone hold hands. Everyone hold hands. Ouchie. Ouchie. <laughs> She's so cute. The ouchie is one of my favorites. Grow, grow, grow. Grow, grow, grow. Go. Well, they also talked about it earlier, uh, Cheesy. Hey. Boom, boom, go. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ouchie. Ah. 
Look at all those bloom cores. I left them behind. Open door. Go to the mysterious statue. Okay. Take your time. It was a good photo op, though. With our, uh, Voldemort. Noseless Alhatham. <laughs> no. Impossible. What happened? It's gone, but it was right here. The hilly churl worshippers have disappeared, too. Oh, boy. W was it all an illusion? That seems unlikely. We couldn't have both seen the exact same illusion. That's true. Yes, it, it can't have been an illusion. I still feel hmm. that awesome and wondrous power flowing through my mind and body. It was neither illusion nor coincidence and... And certainly no dream. <laughs> it was a wonder. Yes, a divine wonder. Losing his marbles. Yes, a divine wonder. Let's go, traveler. There is surely a reason for its disappearance, and I do believe that someday in the future, we shall see it again. <laughs> You're turning into a salad. Let's just get back. Could he really have been a sinner? And not a god. And not a god. It's that seed of doubt. That little itty bitty seed of doubt. You take Ide, who seems to be in a trance, back to the small house. Has he gone? He's not in here. Uh oh. Oh no, no, no. Kari Bear has a mind of his own now. By and found him? No. No, it can't have been that. There's. There's no sign of a break-in, and, and no sign of anyone having been here. Maybe he ran off, but why? This does not bode well. What if he's spotted by a forest ranger or an adventurer in his current state? They'd... Then we'd have to find him first. There's no time to lose. <gasps> Wait a minute. This isn't how we left it. The... Oof. The box is open with the mirror! The mirror is gone! Where is oh, the mirror? No. Did oh he... no, did he... Did he what? <laughs> what is the mirror? The broken mirror? Oh my the lord. Mirror. It's broken! The mirror, it's broken! Uh, this is awkward. <laughs> Hmm, but hasn't the mirror been broken this whole time? What does the broken mirror mean? He must have taken his mask off and seen what he looks like beneath it. So he thinks Kari Bear broke the mirror because he took his mask off, didn't like what he saw, and like broke the mirror? Uh, if he'd just done as he was told! Uh. We have to find him. Huh. Look for clues outside. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Clue number one. It's his scarf. He dropped it. <laughs> Uh, looks like we're going the right way. Uh, come on. Not the scarf. Mama's scarf. Kari uh, Bear. Kari Bear. Where are you? Where are you? Kari Bear. Kari Bear. Oh boy. Curses. Forest Rangers. <laughs> Not the Forest Rangers. Hey, who are you? We haven't seen you around here before. What's your business here? Have you seen a, uh, hilly churl? A, a hilly churl should have uh, come past this way. <laughs> have you seen it? I asked you first. Don't make this more difficult than it needs to be. I said, have you seen a hilly churl? There are hilly churls everywhere. What's the big deal? We see plenty of them out here. Exactly. Matter of fact, we just took out a few of them back there. Those dumb boneheads. You... <laughs> You, oh, you crossed the line. You upset Ide. Forest Ranger 
scum! You, you spawn of the seven are all the same! I'll have your heads if you so much as laid a finger on Curry Bear! Oh my god, he's really hating his time in Sumeru, <laughs> like, a lot. You... You're raving mad! You've got some gall coming here to our nation insulting the forest rangers! Curse you all, forest rangers! Stop it, Eid! Stop, or the forest rangers and I will have to make you! I don't get it! Why make such a huge fuss over a few hilly churls? Makes no sense. You... He'd only just regained his mind. How could you do this to him? So tell me, Oi. forest rangers, did you really spare none of them? Did you really take out every last hilly churl you saw? Oh no. Oh gosh. Jeez. You're really not going to let this go. Fine, you weirdo. If you must know, I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I left the team to, uh, use the toilet. I happened to cross paths with a solitary hilly churl when I went to use the toilet. <laughs> Thank you, Ranger Guard, for that information. I was frightened at first, but it didn't seem to have any interest in me at all. It was just bumbling along in that direction. So I left it alone. There's still hope. That could well have been Carrie Bear. <gasps> yes! Wonderful! <laughs> Wonderful! Let's, let's go! Uh, we have to find him! This would have been the most tragic story ever if it ended right here with the forest rangers just slaughtering Carrie Bear, the hilly turtle. That actually might have been the most tragic Genshin death of all time. Wait, you're leaving? Not even a thanks for the info, goodbye? <laughs> you came at us rude and you expect us to say thanks for the info, literally. I mean, they're just doing their job at the same time, but like, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Kari Bear. We found him! Kari Bear, stop! It's me! It's, it's Papa! It's Papa! Papa! Whatever you saw Papa. It, it was... It was all a trick! An illusion! I told you, we're in a fairy tale world now. Nothing here is real. Please, Kari Bear, come back. It's time to go back. Oh, this is so sad. Kari Bear? He's not responding. He's relapsed. How could this happen? He regained his mind. He he must be able to hear me. Surely. Oh, well, that would be short-lived if that's the case. Come, Damn. Curry Bear, we have to go home now. Papa's here to take you home, all right? Hold on, something's not right with him. What was... What has this strange power done to him? Oh, God. Oh, boy. I'm scared. Oh, cutscene? Papa. Cory Bear. Oh no. Oh no. Papa, I can't take it. Please, Cory Bear. It's my fault. I'm so sorry. If only I'd known. It's all. It's all too much. No. Papa. Oh no. <gasps> Oh gosh. Oh. It's all too much. That breaks my heart. <laughs> oh god, not the laugh. I see. I understand now. Finally, it all makes sense. <laughs> oh my god, the way he's talking is really creeping me out. Plot twist. What happened? Did I faint? I remember Kari Bear taking his mask off, but then... Ah, traveler, you're awake. Finally, we can rejoice together. 
Oh, boy. Wait, no. Why am I still calling you Traveler? Oh, I have known your true identity for some time now. Oh? What do you mean, true identity? Ide, are you okay? <laughs> I suspected it was you oh, from the beginning. <laughs> I had to talk to you to be sure. But I've never met you. Oh. Of course you haven't. With your status, you can hardly be expected to know all of us. In any case, I've been using a fake name this entire time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ida is the name of a servant I once had. Ida is the name of a servant I once had. Okay, so who are you? My real name is Clotar. Clotar? Clotar Alberic. Flat twist! Elberic! <laughs> you saw it too, didn't you? Unmistakable, eh? The power inside Kari Bear and the power of the one you call us Sinner. It was one and the same. Oh my god. Kaya, where are you at? Kaya, come, come control your mans. Come control. Please. Help. <laughs> So that's why Kaya was in Sumeru. I am positive now. It's the power of the abyss, isn't it? Oh, at long last, I have seen it with my own eyes. I didn't see it clearly. What happened to Kari Bear? That is no business of yours. Oh my god. A sinner. Yes. Salvation for a sinner can only come from a sinner. Kari Bear did not deserve his fate, but now... It's wonderful. He will be able to weave his own destiny anew. Wait, what? Born into abject sorrow, he shall now become... What? The loom of fate. Excuse me? There's that term again, the loom of fate. You're right about this being from the abyss, but the abyss is sinister and dangerous. Huh? Sinister? Dangerous? Oh, I never imagined that you, of all people, would deny the abyss. How ridiculous! We once believed that you would bring new strength and hope to Conria. To us, you were the abyss. A wondrous mystery far beyond our imagination and comprehension. And the one who controls the abyss can control everything. We yearned for that future. We looked to you to take us there. But what did you bring us instead, oh Prince of Conria? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh my god. What did he just call me? Oh my god, are we about to see Ether? Oh my god! Oh my god. Traveler! Hey, Traveler! Traveler! Oh my god. You're awake! Oh, thank goodness you're awake. I'm almost worried sick! Uh, Traveler? <gasps> traveler? Dude, the mirror makes so much sense now. I was like, what the heck are we gonna use this mirror for? Oh, I totally forgot they even showed that in the live stream trailer. That's insane. Wow, that was so cool. That was actually a really good cutscene. Um, Wow, I know. I mean, as soon as you said Prince of Conrad, I was like, dude, what are you seeing? I can't, I need to look up the YouTube version of like anyone who chose Ether as the character. I need to see like the opposite of this. What the heck? What the heck? What happened while you were unconscious? 
I checked the ley lines nearby. It appears that the Abyss tampered with them, and they've been in turmoil ever since. Information and memories flow within the ley lines. What did you witness? The founder of the, of the Abyss Order, Alberic. You what happened to him? Clotar Alberic? Clotar. After founding the Abyss Order, his faith in the Abyss led him to do a great many things. But the curse of immortality continued to torment his body and mind. And in the end, neither his faith nor the Abyss he worshipped could save him. After a hundred years, he lost his mind completely and was never seen again. Yet his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. Yet yeah, his dark legacy lived on. The defiled statue that we encountered previously was just one perverse product of his use of abyssal power during his life. And despite that, my brother ultimately sided with him, didn't he? You could say that. Oh my god. He wouldn't be the Abyss Order's prince otherwise. Are you alright? You have a troubled look on your face. Uh, what happened? I have a story to tell you. Hmm. Your words say Den... Oh my god, your words send so Dane's lips deep into thought. you saw his memories from centuries ago, through your own eyes. It all but defies belief. Still, as I'd suspected, the notion of the loom of fate did indeed rear its head during that time. And it seems closely connected to Clotar Alberich's son, Caribert, and what happened to him. And yet your brother never breathed a word of this incident to me. I wonder... Was that the moment that he decided to go down this path? Ooh, interesting. Holy moly. That is so interesting. I know it's confusing, but the Karibar and uh, Clothar stuff was before Cataclysm. It was when Ether and Dane's left were, were traveling Samaru. Guess what? Now we're traveling Samaru. Our fates are the same, but different timeline. I mean, that's kind of been hinted at like so many times, um, especially in the Aranara quest. But so, um, spoiler to the uh, the Aranara, the Aranara quest, if you have never finished that. Um, but the Aranara quest, I mean, on top of many other instances, has always hinted at the twins uh, following the same path and having the same fate. Um, and it was like, I feel like the Aranara quest was the one that really solidified that the most um, with the whole like golden Nara. Like, you know, the Golden Nara was Ether or Lumine, depending on which one you chose. Um, and the entire festival, like the Aranara saying that they've done this exact same thing and you remind them so much of the Golden Nara, that whole thing. Um, so, yeah, it's really it's really cool how all these little pieces of the different quests come together. I also wish that I could know what he thought about all of this. But one thing is clear. This was not a happy memory. Indeed. Clearly, this series of events sparked a long period of deep contemplation. This was where it all began. Oh my gosh. This was where it all began. Not to mention that this was where we began our Sumeru journey. Talk about wisdom and discovery and knowledge in, in, the, in <laughs> the land of knowledge. This is crazy. Yes. Oh, I almost forgot. There's something I need to check. What is it? I need to know what lies buried in this field. The field? What does that have to do with anything? The mushrooms. You mean here? <laughs> well, let's start digging and see. After some time, you and Dane's left discover what is buried in the field. You scared the duke out of Paimon. Not the duke. <sighs> did, did you rebury them yet? <laughs> Paimon taking a book out of friggin' Nahida's uh, vocabulary. A male and female skeleton, buried together. Interestingly, the male skeleton appears to have been interred much later. And it's holding a silk scarf in its hand. Oh my gosh. But what does this mean? And how did you know that there were bodies buried here? I think that the bones of the man belong to Clothar Alberic. What? That's impossible. Unless... Lothar Albury finally found a way to rid himself of the curse. Perhaps he did. Mm. Huh. This all raises far too many questions. I need time to think. 
and to search my memories for some missing pieces. Why do I feel like Danzelf is about to peace out? We should part ways. I now. knew it. I knew it. I could sense it. I could sense it. Huh? You're just gonna leave? Why? You could come with us, you know. I freaking knew it. I was like, he's about to peace out right now. I can feel it. It's better that we split up for now. I think that No, please don't leave me. You. Please don't leave me, husband. I think that he might have seen you. He? Kaya? Who? Who's he? Oh. <laughs> you mean the voice that I heard inside my head? Yes. I have my suspicions as to his identity. But I need to confirm some other details before I can be sure. If the time is right, I will oh tell gosh. you when we next meet. I have to pee so bad. <laughs> what do you mean that he saw the Traveler? How is that possible? It was just a memory. It all happened hundreds of years in the past. I fear that while these things would limit anyone else, they are no obstacle to him. What? Why? What is he? A sinner. All right, let's leave it there. Get some rest. Goodbye. So casual. He's like, here's the biggest lore freaking bomb of your life. By the way, gotta go. Get some rest. Good night. Albedo, see you in another year. <laughs> Literally. There goes Dane. And just like that, it's back to being the two of us again, huh? Oh, Paimon, one more thing. Mm -hmm. What is it? I missed you. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Not the hug. Fan freaking tastic. That was amazing. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. I knew I was going to cry. It, I just, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that I would cry at some point in time. Uh, I didn't expect it to be like early on slash halfway through, uh, but that was so beautifully executed and all the little hints along the way. And uh, gosh, I wish I would have picked up the mirror scene a little bit more because I feel like there were some good hints uh, leading up to that on top of the fact that, you know, the live stream kind of maybe spoiled just a tiny little bit. Just a little bit, if you really paid attention, of course, but Paimon back is, yep. Wow, isn't it so nice being able to open this beautiful, fantastic map?